Good afternoon, everyone. This is for all of you who need a little extra instruction on how to submit assignments on Edmodo. Now, so far, we've done it by phone. We've done it by laptop. Now, this time, it's on, um, on an iPad. So, if you can see this, okay, I hope you can. We'll see how it comes out. I'll kind of show you a way around. You can see I'm logged in, not as myself. Well, it actually is myself. There I am up there. You can see that uh, Jeff today, maybe I can use this little pen as a kind of a pointer. Let's see if I can get up there, show it to you. Yeah, there I am, I'm logged in. This is Jeff Tanang in uh, Mr. Erickson's class. And I'm checking it out. He's got some assignments up there. And I'm wondering, hmm, I wonder how I can submit. I'm having trouble. Uh, we won't mention names like Katie. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. Never mind. Uh, we come over here, there's a little plus sign. I can click on that, for example, if I wasn't sure. Oh, join with code, create task, create class post. Send direct message. So if I want to send a direct message to uh, Mr. Jeff, I can click on there and uh, even try it. Let's see what happens. There it is. Okay, come down here and see what we see. There's my little pencil. Looks like I got to do one more click. Looks like I got to click again on uh, Mr. Jeff there. Okay, finally. You see, I already put in an example. I said, hey, Mr. Jeff. I sent a picture of uh, some cookies that I got at Mega Market called Oreos. So I could say, hey, or hi, whatever you want, and send it. And presto, there it is. And that goes directly to me. So I would get the message. And you say, okay, if you wanted to add something, you could. Um, like going over there to uh, the paperclip, which is making an attachment. Or... Even easier than that, you could click on photo, take a photo of your assignment, and send it in that way. It's another possibility. That's going by the message, but there's really another way that I want you to do it. So I'm going to go back to classes, all the different icons I have down here. Discover. By the way, planner is a good one to check on, because there you see all the assignments, and you should be able to click on any one of those and submit it that way. All on the planner. So that's a good thing. You can even schedule it for when you want to do it and so forth. This is just for extra apps to check out. There's the message thing. Notifications, I'll click on that. Oh, wow, look at all those assignments. God, this is just assigning me too much work. Anyway, let's go to classes. I guess I got to get it done. It's the only thing. My old saying is, you know, once, once begun, half done. Okay, for example, I look up here, oh, ELD. SSR, Sustained Satellite Reading. Oh, he's putting that on here now. I'm okay. Well, how can I submit my work to Mr. Jeff, this uh, guy who's sending out too much homework all the time? Well, let me just click on View Assignment. Oh, there it pops up. Mr. Jeff put uh, the chapter from the Wonder Book right into the assignment. Halloween party. So you get to read that. Like I do during ELE time, we start off reading. And um, this time I am using the Wonder Book for it as an example. And you would do it the same way you're reading your own book. So you go through here and you read the chapter as many times as you want. And what's down here? Turn into assignment? Well, what happens if I do that? Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Turn into assignment, huh? Well,. I have a couple options here. It says assignment note. But before we look at that, let's just see what this says. Oh, attach. File from backpack. If you put it in your backpack, you can pull it out of there. Um, you've taken a picture. Click on there. And your pictures will come up. You select the picture of your homework. Send it in. Other another option? Oh, I think I'll take a picture of it right now. Then you click on there. Then you click on there, take a picture of it. And set that up, put it right in there. Add sketch, that means sketch is like a drawing. If you want to do a drawing, if you want to go to your files, you pull it out of there. But I think the ones that have been working for us so far are like take a photo. 
or a picture from your camera roll, but you're welcome to try these other ones. However, I think those two, take photo or a picture from camera will be fine. But there's even one easier way. So I don't want to do that right now. Oh, look up here. I can just go here because uh, Mr. Jeff said he just wanted a, a reader's response and we know those aren't so, so long. So he says, well, what was uh, the hell, the main idea of the Halloween party, for example? Well, then you would start off, oh, the main idea of the Halloween party, and I'm putting capitals on there because it's a, a title of a chapter. You see that? Capital H, capital P. Imagine the Halloween party was, and of course, I'm not gonna do your homework for you, Katie. Uh, the idea is to get you to do this and, and send it in. So it says, the main idea of the Halloween party was, oh, you write your reader's response, and then when you're done, you just go down there, and way at the bottom, it says submit. So that's all I gotta do, really. So you see the main thing was just to click on the assignment, and I see the um, a note. You can do your answer right there. You can still use the photo option too, but if you want to just use the text option, you can do that. And then I go down here, submit. It says, oh, your work has been submitted, work submitted. We will let your teacher know. Okay, a waiting grade even. That means it's been sent to me. I got it, I go onto my laptop, pops up there, then I can view it, I can grade it, I can even write back to you, and like I have been, when I have suggestions about, you know, capitalization, or indenting a paragraph, or, you know, maybe uh, just about the, the meaning of, meaning of what you wrote, and if you had the correct idea about uh, what the assignment was all about, and so forth, and that's it. That, it's that easy to submit an assignment. So I, I hope everybody can get on and at least try it with that. You can also try it with the um, the retake I, post, I posted for the Go Math. I put the quiz right into there. So you just click on the quiz and the quiz will pop up and then you can do it right online. Um, for those of you who are uncomfortable with that, I did add it one more time in the old way, like we did for the, the midterm. So if you click on that one, you only have to do one. You don't have to do both, by the way. It's just another option. I put it on there so you can click on it. If you want to do the paper version, that's fine. But if you want to do the one that I rewrote, then you would come down here and you go to, um, not that one, but uh, where is it right there? Yeah, and then you click on it, it's gonna pop up. And then once it pops up, you can, oh, there it is right there, retake. Then you can take it right online, right on the computer. All your answers will come to me at the end when you click on submit. I think that's what you should really try. That would be the easiest way. Because I put, I typed in all the questions there. So those two things, give it a try. And if you have any questions, don't forget you got the little message thing. You can ask questions of either me or Mr. Tan. We'll be um, glad to help you out. Um, there's still just a few of you that are having trouble submitting assignments. So. I'm going to wrap this up and I hope everybody can get all their assignments submitted to me on time on Monday. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's it for Fat Jeff. Bye for now.